Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I will be going over all of my favorite custom content for male sims in The Sims 4. So I've wanted to make more CC haul and CC related videos, but I've sort of struggled to pick what exactly I want to make a video on first. But I recently decided that for the next video, I would go over the CC that I use for my male sims. And this is mostly because I have posted a few of my male sims on my channel for create a sim videos and I often see comments on my videos and just online in general how hard people find it to make their male sims look nice. I'm sure you guys have seen the post joking about the contrast between how people's female sims look versus their male sims and how their female sims often look much better than their male sims. And I don't personally struggle very much with making male sims, but I will say that I do struggle often finding proper CC that I like for my male sims. And since CC is such a big part of my sim making process, I will often spend a lot of time trying to find good CC for my male sims. So I hope in this video you will be able to find some cute CC for your male sims. I was also thinking of doing a video in the future where I show off a bit of my process of how I make my sims and sort of how I've developed my own style. So be sure to comment below if you would be interested in seeing something like that. But anyway, before we get into the video, be sure to like, comment, and consider subscribing to support me. I'm getting sort of close to 2,000 subscribers, and I think it would be really cool if I could hit that before the end of the year, potentially. Anyway, I have a lot of different creators to show off for a lot of different categories, like hairs, eyebrows, accessories, and clothes. I will also be including all of the links for the creators. And I actually recently started a Patreon where I will post all of my Sims creations. And I also will use this for mod reviews and CC videos. So I have a very easy place to link all of the CC and all of the mods that I use for certain videos. My Patreon will be free, so you don't have to pay to see any of the posts. But I thought that this could be nice and maybe even a little bit more organized, hopefully for you guys. I also want to make more CC videos in the future, and if you guys ever have any suggestions or requests, let me know. For this video, I will also mainly be focusing on just alpha CC for male sims, just so the list isn't too long. But in the future, I will hopefully make one for Maxis Match as well, and I know a lot of you guys use Maxis Match primarily, but since I mainly use alpha CC, that's what I wanted to focus on for this video. Okay, so we are going to jump into the video now and I will be showing off all of my custom content for you guys. So I thought to start off with, we could go over the CC hairs that I use in my game. So you will notice that I tend to use a lot of CC from the same creators. In particular, I tend to download from the same handful of CC creators for my hair, since I tend to be pretty picky with how hairs look in my game, at least more so than some other items. So I have a lot of CC hairs in my game, but a majority of them are from just a handful of creators. Lately though, I have started downloading hairs from some new creators, and one of those creators is Sonya Sims who I started using CC from a few months back when I found some of their female hairs, but they also have a few male hairs as well. And I would definitely like to get some more hairs from them in the future, but I think for now I like the amount that I have and I really like how they look in game as well. And I also can appreciate how many different swatches they have. And another creator that I use a lot for my male hairs and just in general, is Onto Sims. So I like these hairs since they also have a lot of swatches. Also, a lot of their hairs are for both male and females, 
and they have a lot of variety in length and style. And also some of their more recent hairs have an option to add like overlays in the hat category. So with certain hairstyles, you can add like highlights or you could change the tips or the roots, which I, which I really like because it just lets you customize your sims even more. And also, as a side note, for all the categories that we will be going over in today's video, I am hoping to do a more in-depth look at each category in the future. But for now, I wanted to keep this video as more of a general overview and breakdown of what CC I use for my mouse sims. But I would like to do more follow-up videos that are maybe a little bit more specific. But as I said at the start of the video, I will be showing off Alpha CC for this video. And I'm not really sure how popular Alpha CC is within the Sims community, but I personally enjoy more of an Alpha style. I would say that, but I would say that one area where I can't use an Axis Match is with my hairs. I really prefer the more realistic and detailed look for my hairs. And so I can be really picky with my CC hairs so I do tend to stick with alpha and so because of that I don't ever really use max as much hairs to be honest I just much more prefer how alpha looks in my game And next, for eyebrows, this is another type of CC that I am pretty picky about. And I do tend to struggle when I'm picking out eyebrows for my sims, since I feel like I need them to perfectly suit my sims face. So honestly, I'll spend like sometimes up to like 10 to 15 minutes alone in create a sim just trying to pick out eyebrows. But for CC eyebrows, I tend to stick to just a few creators, similar to hairs, I tend to stick to a few creators for the majority of my eyebrows. So I would say that my favorite creator for eyebrows and just a favorite creator for a lot of different CC overall is Gopal's Me. If you have seen any of my other videos, you may have noticed that I tend to use a lot of CC from this creator. But out of all of their CC, I tend to use their eyebrows the most, especially because these eyebrows have a lot of different swatches. And also, I just tend to like how they look overall. I feel like they have a nice, like, natural look, which sort of kind of suits the style that I tend to go for with my Sims. And the other two creators who I also use are Praline Sims and Obscurus. So I think I would recommend Praline Sims since they make a lot of different types of CC and they also have these things called CC collections where you are able to download items and so you are able to download just a collection that has a ton of one type of item. So they have ones for lipsticks, piercings, tattoos, eyebrows, necklaces, a ton of like a ton of different categories. So if you want more eyebrows in your game, they have their own ultimate collection for eyebrows. And that one is nice because it just adds like a ton of new eyebrows in your game. It's very easy. You don't have to like search and try to find a bunch of different individual CC items. So that's a good one. And the other one that I use often is Obscurus. And I use Obscurus a lot for my skin details as well. They make a lot of really nice overlays and skin blends and that sort of thing. But they also do make eyebrows as well. And sometimes I like to use their eyebrows as well, just to have like, just, just for some more variety, I guess. And the next category is accessories. So for accessories for my male sims, I have a few recommendations for you guys. So if you're like me and you love putting a lot of piercings on your sims and just other types of jewelry, a great option is once again, Praline Sims, who we talked about in the last category. So like I mentioned, they make a lot of different custom content collections. 
So one of their collections that I use is their piercings collection. And they have just a ton of options in that one. And I will link in general their Patreon for you guys. But I also think I'm going to link a few of their collections that I've talked about in the video. So like they have their piercing collection, which has like 90 piercings for your Sims, which is really great. Uh, I also love their earring collection and they have a necklace collection as well. And between those two, it has like 400 accessories for your Sims. So 250 new earrings and 170 necklaces. So like I said, it adds a lot more choice, a lot more variety. And luckily a lot of those you can use for male Sims. So that's really nice. Lastly, Praline Sims is also really great for like glasses, um, since they also have a glasses collection. So that is a really great creator for accessories for your male Sims. So I would definitely suggest that one for you guys. And so that is one of the main creators that I use for my accessories, but that is definitely not the only one. So aside from Praline Sims, the two others that I am going to suggest for you guys in this video is Christopher067, who uploads their creations on the Sims 4 resource for free. And they have a ton of jewelry for both male Sims and female Sims. And so they're a really great option if you want to have additional jewelry and stuff like that. And the other that I would recommend is Sugar Owl, who also makes a lot of jewelry, and they are also on the Sims 4 resource. And I do believe they may also make tattoos. I'm not sure about that, but I think I have some tattoos from them, potentially. So the last category that we will be looking at today is for clothes for your male sims. So I have a lot of CC clothes in my game, but as far as alpha CC for my male sims, I tend to use a lot of CC from a handful of creators, just like with every other category basically. But for this video, I decided to just stick with five creators just to make it not super long but I definitely have a lot of other creators who I would recommend. But I think from the creators for clothes that I included for today's video, my favorite is most definitely Gorilla X3. So they make really beautiful CC for your Sims, both male and female. And I've been using their CC for quite a while now and I really, really love their work. And they also tend to make a lot of like trendy pieces. So if you like having very fashionable looking Sims, then I would suggest this creator. And specifically for male Sims, I think that Garte77, hopefully that's how you say it, I'm not sure. Um, I think that they are probably a close second. So because they have a lot of really nice casual pieces too. And a lot of their items are specifically for male Sims which is kind of hard to find when it comes to CC creators. So I often will use a lot of their items for my male Sims as well. Anyway, that actually concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you could give the video a little like, maybe a comment and consider subscribing if you enjoy Sims content. Um, so I will have all the CC links available for you guys on my Patreon. And so thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.